happy to be here at Campbell's Nursery and Garden Centers with Randy Wolf today. We're going to be talking about how you actually get products into a garden center. Randy, the gardening season is just about ready to start. We want to know where exactly you go to buy the products, when you start, and how do you make those decisions? Well, a lot of things uh, enter into the, to the uh, equation. Um, probably one of the first things we look at is uh, what are our customers asking for? Uh, we try and see what's new out there. Sometimes that means uh, taking in some shows uh, in various parts of the United States. Uh, usually the shows will have an emphasis, say, uh, on uh, plant material or hard goods, Christmas um, or, or the uh, gift items. And uh, then, of course, uh, we rely on our sales reps uh, for, for help as well. So uh, I would uh, say my forte is plants, and so I, I really look at that when I'm at uh, shows to try and see what's out there, uh, and try and see um, what there's a niche for. Uh, and we're always on, on the lookout for plants that are, are going to overtake some of the new ver old varieties and become better, better plants for landscape, um, better satisfaction for the gardener. Randy, in a garden center that is full service with a gift shop included, do you divide and conquer or is it your responsibility to go all over the country and all over the world and find all the new cool stuff? Well, uh, usually we do divide and conquer. Uh, uh, certain employees have their specialties and um, uh, sometimes it's a team effort, sometimes it's a single person uh, that's uh, the, 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 the head or the lead on a, a division. Um, then, you know, it's, it's a lot of communication, you know, uh, we try and, and uh, talk to the buyers, you know, hey, we're having people ask for this, we're having, uh, or we've seen this at our competitors, or we've uh, seen this in some of the, the uh, magazines and literature that we receive. Uh, I, for instance, am in charge of buying our perennials, and so uh, um, I, I deal with a number of sources for, for small divisions and, and plugs that we grow on to landscape-sized plants. Uh, I look for hardiness, I look for uh, uh, plants that are going to give a customer a lot of, of uh, color for their money. Uh, I look for some things that are new that I think will work, they don't always, I, I, I'm not uh, infallible. but. Uh, um, with the, the experience that I've got uh, over the years, I've been able to, to uh, pick out some, some nice plants and that puts us ahead of the game. Usually uh, we've got plants in here maybe a year or two before our competitors do for that reason. Um, the the uh, hard goods uh, people, uh, they look at shows and, and they oftentimes are driven by what the customer is asking for. Um, and oftentimes it has to do with, with um, um, ease of, of uh, a product. Gardeners are getting older, and uh, at least I'm getting older, and uh, some of these things uh, I'm looking for an easier way to do it and still get good results. So Let's focus a little bit on several of the products that you really think are intriguing this year that you might want your customers to take a look at. Sure. Yes, Kim, um, we're uh, focusing a lot on uh, uh, pollinator plants because of the awareness for pollinators. Uh, we've, we've got seed for a number of different types of uh, milkweed, for instance. Uh, uh, five years ago, we didn't have a, a milkweed seed on the property, and so that's a, a way we can react to, to what our customers' needs are. Um, pesticides, we now uh, offer an inorganic and an organic uh, uh, answer to almost any problem in the garden. Um, Oftentimes the, the pesticides have gotten easier to use instead of a concentrate and buying a, a big sprayer and having to mix that. Now we're coming up with ready to use products and uh, even more recently ready to spray products where you hook a sprayer to your garden hose and, and it sprays out at the right measurement. People like that, there's less contact with the pesticides. Uh, it's easier, it frees up more of their time and, and uh, uh, something they can do ra rather quickly. Um, Another example would be orchids. Uh, um, 20 years ago, uh, there was uh, orchids were kind of a mysterious plant for most gardeners, uh, and they, they saw them as expensive and very hard to grow. Well, with the, the different ways of producing phalaenopsis orchids and things like that, they can mass produce them now. People found out that, hey, they too can, can enjoy orchids, get them to bloom, uh, and consequently, a full line of orchid products, the, the, the pots, the potting soils for them, the fertilizers for them. Uh, so that's, that's a way that we've changed and to, to help provide things for our customers. Randy, thanks for all that great information. Without sharing any of your trade secrets with us, 
I'm always looking forward to the spring when I can come in and I can buy either all the new good stuff or some of the golden oldies as well. Well, Kim, we certainly uh, uh, hope to see you in the Garden Center. It's been my pleasure to have been with you today.